Good afternoon, dear colleagues. Let me greet you from Russia. I'm currently at Almond University, known for its Russian method of training engineers. In 1873, this method was marked with a grand gold medal at the World Exhibition in Vienna. At that time, John Runkel, the president of Massachusetts Institute of Technology, impressed with the success of the Russian method, wrote, Russia deserves respect for a total success in solving such an important problem of engineering education. After that, no other system will be used in the United States of America. Bauman University has educated many world-famous engineers. Among them are designers of rocket and space systems, or a passenger jet-powered aircraft, a diesel-powered locomotive, an automated machining line, a TV tube. Graduates of Bauman University were Vladimir Shukhov, the inventor of an injector, an industrial gasoline production process and steel mesh structures. Andrei Tsupolev, the aircraft designer, worked out more than a hundred types of aircraft. Sergei Korolev, the chief designer of the first Earth satellite and the first manned spacecraft. All these facts are directly relevant to the subject of my report. The research education of school children in Russia was developed at Bauman University. It is based on the traditions of this Russian method of training engineers. In 1991, that is 25 years ago, I proposed the idea of the Step into the Future program as special scientific and educational space for training talented young people who want to realize their potential in science and engineering. The idea was supported by colleagues from different cities in Russia. Today, more than 150,000 school children and students are involved in the Step into the Future program. The subject of my report is fundamental concept of the research education theory, that is, the problem cognitive program. It is a form of implementation of research behavior of a scientific type. The research behavior of a scientific type is fundamentally different from the innate psychobiotic curiosity, which has its roots in the primitive struggle for survival. It is driven by a conscious search for truth, which is a professional component in scientific work with knowledge. The research behavior of a scientific type manifests itself in the dynamics of scientific cognitive interests of an individual. Here are a few examples of scientific and educational trajectories of learners from the experience of the Step into the Future program. Anastasia Yefimenko from Petrozavodsk in Karelia took a strong interest in mathematics and biology at the age of 12. When she was 14, she received her first results, mathematical models of Hardy-Weinberg genetic principle designed for different situational schemes. At the age of 17, she received her first important scientific result. The study made it possible to estimate and predict the spread of a serious hereditary disease, Nile Ketanuri in Karelia. At this stage, her interest had already shifted to healthcare. In the year 2000, Anastasia Fiminko with her work, My Challenge to Children's Mortality, was a winner at the Russian stage in the European Union contest for young scientists. At the international level, getting in the final Final of the EU contest, she won the right to represent European young scientists at the Nobel Prize ceremony. On the first year of education at Lomonosov Moscow State University, Anastasia's interest shifted to fundamental medicine. She became involved in genetic research. In the year 2011, Anastasia defended her thesis devoted to the study of stem cells. I call the model, which fixes the dynamics of cognitive interest and the results of activities of learners involved in scientific research, the problem cognitive program. I outline a three-level scheme in the development of cognitive trajectories of learners' researches. At the first stage, learners get involved in research activities through the basic system of initial cognitive practices. At the second stage, forming the problem cognitive program begins. At the third stage, the accumulated findings are tested and included in the system of scientific knowledge and social activities. The basic system of initial cognitive practices, stage one, is formed as a set of research type scientific and educational tasks to be formulated by a learner independently or received from tutors as options 
is in Jews from. For example, at the age of 15, Anton Grave from Samara used to laser beam in his school laboratory to test anomalies in vegetables, carrots, zucchini, cabbage, potatoes. There, he developed his interest in laser inspection of an organic material and made him attend classes at an anatomy theatre. At the age of 18, he invented a laser detector that could be used for home identification of hidden subcutaneous tumours in humans. Problem cognitive program for Alexander Obushenkov from Krasnoyarsk proceeded in a professional scientific team stage 2. At the age of 12, he became interested in astronomy, and a year later he was involved in astrophysical research work in the laboratory at the Institute of Physics, where he could use a top-of-the-line telescope. By the age of 16, he had received his first scientific results in the field of study of fractal nanostructures, and two years later he, as a co-author, published an article in the Physical Review, one of of prestigious scientific journals. At the age of 13, Valeria Grigorieva from Astrakhan attended classes with a group studying chemistry headed by a professor from a local university. At the age of 14, she became interested in the problem of recycling of the waste of fish meal plants. When she was 17, Valeria developed a cost-effective method for production of washing solution for oil tankers from the waste, which aroused interest in a Dutch and a Russian company. Becoming a university student, Valeria opened her own business. This is Stage three. Below, I will give you a definition and a brief theoretical description of the problem cognitive program concepts. The problem cognitive program of an individual is a long lasting variety of research type cognitive activity, which at a certain time point requires distinctive thematic directions, focuses on problematics and prospects, and has an important status in the social cognitive self making of a person. Episodic cognitive actions organized into projects can be a local part of cognitive programs of an individual. However, training projects, even drawn up as research work, is a product of a subject structured education system, while research training is implemented as a continuous presence in the field of a research problem. A team of learners can implement a common metacognitive program as a collective program. The collective cognitive program is defined by me as an ensemble of coordinated cognitive practices aiming at the solution of a complex cognitive problem. A key aspect in construction or research type training process is the exclusion at a certain time point of project and research modes of study in those disciplinary areas and subject segments which are not associated with the cognitive problem to be solved by a learner. The above formulated condition shows a need for theoretical development of methodological approaches to construction of a problem cognitive program. Construction of the problem cognitive program is not just the task of a learner involved in scientific research, but also of a pedagogical person, a research tutor, a teacher, or an educator. They should be able to develop and support the unfolding cognitive scenarios, which to some extent take part in the social cognitive development of a learner. I can formulate three methodological principles of scenario based implementation of the problem cognitive program. The functional integrity principle of the knowledge complex of an individual stipulates that implementation process of the problem cognitive program shall contain time points or stages where the knowledge complex of an individual acquires the capacity to solve an extended class of cognitive problems. Such cognitive capability notes the individual cognitive system switches to a more sophisticated level and transforms into a new holistic cognitive organ. The functional completeness principle of the knowledge complex of an individual requests maximum cognitive functionality at those time points when its functional integrity is reached. This principle is aimed at the assessment and level of attained cognitive capability of a person in comparison with potential possibilities at this stage. Socio-cognitive individualization principle of the cognitive trajectory suggests the relativity of an educational time scale that specifies stages of the knowledge complex growth of this or that individual. The absence of a direct correlation between the age and the possible level of socio-cognitive development necessitates co-education of different age learners, but at the same time it requires a special flexibility of scientific and educational environments to adapt to individual cognitive needs.
The problem cognitive program both individual and collective should be designed by a pedagogical person on the basis of a qualitative assessment system. I've offered to characterize the problem cognitive program by a complex cognitive potential, which includes the following components, a heuristic potential, a cognitive instrumental potential, a creative potential, and an innovative potential. The heuristic potential of the program is determined by the extent of new knowledge, theoretical and empirical, which is open for learning in the cognitive practices of the program. It describes everything that a cognizer can get as knowledge from the program. This is a representation of the scope of cognitive assimilated phenomena of the world, which the program intakes by means of self-development. The cognitive instrumental potential of the program is the assessment of its ability to create and develop cognitive instruments of individual psyche that operate also with dynamically changing knowledge. It describes what methods of obtaining knowledge, cognition methods, a cognizer must get from the program. This is an image of operating expansion in the world that the program produces. The creative potential of the program is a possible creative productivity latently contained in brain work with knowledge, included in the program context. It describes what creative products can be developed by a cognizer on the basis of knowledge and cognition methods the program delivers. This is a level of creative feasibility of heuristic and cognitive instrumental potentials of the program. The fourth component of the program complex potential is associated with my innovative knowledge concept, which is a cultural need in the knowledge society. The innovative potential of the program is the demonstration of its resources to empower a person with producing knowledge, i.e. the knowledge that makes a person able to create objectively new knowledge, or, in other words, innovative knowledge. It describes the synergy of knowledge, cognition methods, and creative creativity an individual mind can possess in the course of the program implementation. This is volume correlate of knowledge produced in the world that finds its place in the program. In conclusion, I'd like to say the following. Research methods of cognition give a learner and a teacher an effective tool for practical application of discipline knowledge, their association with specific professional fields and specialities and achievements of cognitive outcomes having a real value in life. One of the main challenges for the research education sector is the need for scientific and cognitive continuity between a school and a university, which requires institutional partnerships, academic and scientific innovative environment, and research methods of cognition. The problem cognitive program articulating spiritual valuable logic of development is becoming a tool of existential and social cognitive self-making of a creative person who thinks of him or herself and about his or her vocation in the mainstream of knowledge society culture. It is a way of establishing a paradigm of the personal being and its functions as generative ontology determining the self-making of a person. The concept of the problem cognitive program has a more extended scope of application than the research education. This scope can be defined as training of self-making. It is directly related to the essence of education. Thank you for your attention.